Hey guys, I want to show you how to make a killer custom inking brush in Photoshop for free. You don't have to pay any money to make your own brushes. Let's get going. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new 1000 by 1000 pixel uh, dimension canvas at 600 pixels per inch. And we're going to choose a transparent background. Let's go ahead and hit create. What you're going to do now is you're going to go to the lasso tool, keyboard shortcut L, and you're going to create some type of a shape. You're going to now fill that color in. You can fill it with whatever you want. Currently I've got red, so if I hit option delete or alt delete or alt backspace on the PC, um, you have a interesting shape. Then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, edit define brush preset. Let's give it a name that we can remember. I typically like to use my initials. I'll just call this one KMS blob brush. And the number that you see here is actually the size of the brush that we've just saved. Okay, so that's going to be important. So I'll click OK. If I go to another canvas, now this canvas here is 5100 pixels wide by 3300 pixels tall. It's a pretty decent sized canvas. I can test that brush out. Now this brush is kind of blobby and garbage. The real trick is when we customize it. Up on the top uh, of your options bar here, you'll see a small folder with a brush through it. If you click on that, you'll get brush properties. So um, here are the brush settings that we're going to tweak to alter the shape of the brush that I just created. I'm going to go under Shape Dynamics. I'm going to go to Control, Pen Pressure, and automatically you can see that the ends are now um, tapering, right? Uh, and then after that, if I want, I can go ahead and tweak the angle of the brush and also the roundness of the brush depending upon what you're going for here. And then lastly, let's just go ahead and crank the size down so that when we're actually testing this brush out, we can see what it looks like. So I've made those alterations. I'm not messing with the other settings just yet. I want to show you what we've got so far. So we've got this nice thin to thick brush that we can use to create shapes. And I'm keeping this panel open because these brush settings that we've just created are going to only be resident until we switch to a different brush. Then the brush settings are not saved. So one thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and keep the brush settings open while I test it out. I could even test out with a larger size. And I just like to practice with just basic volumetric shapes. And if all looks good, then what I can do is I can come back up to the hamburger menu, click on new brush preset. And now I can save the brush out. I'm going to call it the blob brush. Uh, and give it a name like blob, blob brush final. And then we can optionally choose to go ahead and capture the brush size. Right now the brush size is 39. That's 39 pixels and whatever tool settings we want. Optionally, we can also choose to include the color. I typically don't, but it's up to you. Now you click OK, and that brush is good to go. So you can make your own custom brushes very quickly and very easily. Um, if you're looking for a brush that you can use to ink with, this is definitely something that I would recommend. Um, and let's do one more so you can see the process. This time I'll go ahead and use a lasso tool and I'll make a brush that kind of looks like, um, you know, a sharp angled teardrop, okay? The process is go to edit, define brush preset, give it a unique name so you can find it. I'll just call this teardrop, click okay, go to my test canvas, 
right now you can see that that brush is just going to go ahead and just, you know, it's not going to have any kind of properties on it. So what we have to do is we have to go to Shape Dynamics, Control, Pen Pressure. We can also alter the shape of the brush as we see fit. You can test it out, crank the brush size down to a lower value. And now we've got almost like a chisel brush that we can use. And again, what you want to do is if you like the brush, I'm just going to try this just to see what that's going to look like. If you like that brush, then you can go ahead and save that brush out. You can go to File, or you can go to the Hamburger menu, New Brush Preset, and I'll call this KMS Chisel Brush. I like to use my initials just so it can help me find my brushes amongst all the brushes that I currently have. In fact, if I go back to the brush menu, you can see that my brushes are added here. Now that initial teardrop brush and that initial blob brush, I no longer need those, so I can right click and delete those guys since they were just an intermediate step to get to the actual brushes that I wanted to use. And so now you can see all of these brushes exist um, together. And if you wanted to go ahead and, like I've got an experiment brush that was just a test brush, I'm going to get rid of that one too. Uh, I'm of the opinion that you don't need to have a lot of brushes, you just need to have brushes that work well for you. Um, there is a mentality of collecting hundreds of thousands of brushes, I've certainly been guilty of that myself. But um, when it comes down to it, I probably use between 10 to 15 brushes maximum for any of my work, whether it's inking or digital painting. So I hope you found this video to be informative. If you like it, uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, tell a friend about it. I'm trying to grow my channel, it's pretty small. And uh, I hope you found this video to be useful. And let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see me do next. Thanks.